How do we get a class made out of our class? Quick story. He is really annoying. The whole class hates him and wants him to get out of class. He doesn't respect the teachers and is constantly loud and some other things, but that should be enough to get why we want him out. So, comma, <laughs> is there a way to get him out? <laughs> Just dumping on people for their <laughs> grammatical errors. It's all this is a whole sentence and then he throws it in. So, is there a way to get him out? I think this is how the majority of my graduating class probably viewed me. I'm just glad that we didn't have podcasts to listen to now because I'm sure this would have been about me if it was like six years ago. I'm so interested because when I read this question, isn't this how freaking everybody is in high school and middle school and whatnot every kid is loud every person is annoying you're either annoying every kid is loud and annoying and very often is like oh i hate this teacher and it's usually just because they've done their job and you think i can't believe they've mm-hmm. done their job i can't believe they did their job the way that they're getting paid to do it i know um and that's just coming from us old uh-huh. folk but for the younger generation, I mean, I mean, here's the thing: you're either an annoying person or you're a bully. Those are like the there are two parties in high school, right? You're either the yeah. annoying person who gets bullied, or you're the bully who views hmm. everyone else as annoying. And so, what we're doing is helping out the bully. Got and you I back. Mean, you came to the right place. Let me tell you. Um, yes, I, I, you know, I think this is the proper mm-hmm. time to roll out our new title yes. for our podcast since we are switching it over and that's called uh save your reputation by helping you as a bully and the the second part the by helping you as a bully is just in parentheses <laughs> below and so it's just sir instead of the S-Y-B, sir podcast why are because we know that the cert podcast um no but uh Let's see. How do you get it? How do you truly get an annoying person out of out of class? Um, intimidation. There's a good one. That one works for me every once in a while. I've been told I'm an actually like this is this is me not joking. Uh, not that I would like try to ostracize people, but that I am an intimidating person. When I was writing up for a little retreat uh, a couple weeks back. There was someone who I was riding with, and they were a freshman in college, and I am out of college. Um, and, you know, Zane, let me know if I'm just, like, speaking way out of place here, but they're, like, there's something about, like, the college freshman ideal that just, like, you either have gotten it already or you haven't. And when you haven't, you are, like, just, like, very out there you're still in high school mode is what i'm saying like you're still in high school mode as a freshman and i am doing you a favor by intimidating you (laughs) man i sound like a man do you know what i'm saying do you know what i'm saying i mean like i I feel like a crazy person i I see what you're saying i went to the wrong college for that to make sense yeah no 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 (laughs) And, and i think it's really just me because this person has gone almost a year of being a freshman without being intimidating into getting in line with the idea that the real world is different from high school and that isn't me saying like oh this world is rough and you gotta get in line brother but it's like he he this this person who i was riding up with we stopped at a chipotle Oh. And yeah, uh huh. And we were waiting in line for the bathroom because it was busy. And he looked at me, and then he just slapped me in the face. And I'm, and this is, I, I wish there was more context. I, I desperately what? wish there was more context. He looks at me, he looks at me good, <laughs> and then I look back and I say, "What's up?" And then he just slaps me, and it's like halfway between like trying to hurt a person and being playful. And, like, it stung a little. And I looked at him and I said, you're never going to do that again. Okay? I'm I'm turned on. Because <laughs> <laughs> I am way too freaking horny the moment you did. <laughs> it would have been better. It would have been better if you, if, you had just, if you had just looked him in the face and you uh. just said, tell me it hurt. <laughs> <laughs> (laughs) 
<laughs> oh my gosh, I don't even want to continue with this story because that's super- no, no. But I, but I did tell him I was like, "You're never gonna do that again." And his face just dropped because he was smiling and he thought it was funny. Yeah, um, of course it okay. dropped. You got it because he sla- he just slapped a man. Yeah, because he just slapped a man because he thought it was funny because that's a high school thing to do. So here's what you do when somebody is when you're in high school, which is what it sounds like you're in right now. It sounds like he's still in middle school mode, and so intimidate him into high school you mode. Just walk up, you just walk up to him, you get close to him, and you look him dead in the face, and you say, You're never going to be a Northern kid. Do you understand me? <laughs> and you say it with the straightest face. And then he says, whatever he says, don't say anything. Just keep looking at him. Just sh- and then lick your lips. And then walk back to your chair. You've got to leave him guessing. Because then you leave him questioning many things yeah. and the more yeah. things he's questioning the more that's on his mind the more he's thinking the more he's preoccupied the less he's in the now worried about annoying people in the present and he's caught up in the past bring oh bring up stuff from his past yeah i'm gonna uh, yeah bring up stuff from his past okay let's just put a big old disclaimer on this because i don't want to have there's a big old disclaimer in, like in the intro when somebody's like what about this the intro says this should never be taken as real advice what about this problematic segment you had yeah don't take it as real advice don't be a bully i mean like if you if a person is still in high school mode you need to get them in adult mode like you know just be like yo dude this this ain't good or just say you're never gonna do that again okay because he took it. He got it after that. You can put a whoopee cushion under his seat. That'll get him. That'll He'll never That'll see get that him. one down. He'll be too embarrassed to show up he'll again. He'll never sit down again. I've failed six classes because somebody whoopee cushioned me, and I was too afraid to show my face afterwards. That's, that's a beautiful answer. Way better than whatever I was going to say. Kidnap his parents. Kidnap his parents. If you've got that'll, leverage, that'll teach you to grow up real quick. <laughs> <laughs> You'll grow up real fast when you. Whenever people are say gone, mom and dad aren't always going to be there for you, well, they're not there for you now. What are you going to do now? They're yeah, they're not there now. So grow up, kid. And then you hey, you can even admit it, and you can say yeah, I'm going to get like ten to life, and this is just so that you I know grow up and learn what to and not to do, such as what I did. Don't do it. Do but gotta act. <laughs> See, it puts you in control because he's not in actual danger. It's just the concept of danger that he thinks he's in. And so when he grows up very quickly, the moment you feel like he's less annoying, just put the parents exactly. back. He'll have learned by then, and he's a better person because of it. He's but you got to keep a tracker. Thing that did not you got to keep a tracker on the parents because parents. if he starts acting up again, you were in control. they're back out of the house with you. You've got to make sure, yeah, you've got to make sure that he realizes this isn't just like, a, oh, Santa didn't give me cold this year so I can keep acting up next year. No, this is every time you act up, parents gone. Oh, no, I just realized when his parents die, he's going to think that he can never be a good person again. Never mind. Yes. <laughs> yes. Just a constant string to tug on the moment he gets out of yes. line. I love it. 